Andrew Dixon White is famous as the co-founder of Cornell University. However, possibly his most famous work is A History of the Warfare of Science with Theology, 1896, a book which has had a dramatic impact on public knowledge of the historical relationship of Christianity and science. Unfortunately, the book's contents are largely fictional, despite its appearance of scholarship and reliability. One of its claims is that the 16th century Flemish physician Andreas Vesalius was persecuted by the church for daring to carry out human dissection. This is completely untrue. A less dramatic claim, sometimes made by other sources, is that although human dissection was permitted in the late medieval era, it was only limited to the dissection of criminals, and the religious influence of the church prevented its wider application. This is equally unsupported by historical facts. Let's go back to when human dissection was first made illegal in the history of Western civilization. Ironically, it was pagan Roman legislation which prohibited human dissection as early as the 2nd century BCE, crippling advances in the study of the human body. Aelius Galen of Pergamum, a Greek physician who was the greatest in the Roman Empire, was prevented from dissecting human cadavers because Roman law had made it illegal. Instead, Galen used pigs and Barbary apes, assuming they were close enough to humans. Unfortunately, this produced a cascade of errors in his medical judgment of the human body, errors which were copied uncritically by physicians for centuries afterwards, slowing medical progress. As a result of its prohibition by pagan Rome, human dissection was almost completely abandoned up to the 13th century, even though it was never prohibited by the church. However, during the 13th century, autopsies for the purpose of determining cause of death were legally required in Italy. And later, human dissection for the study of anatomy reappeared among Italian medical practitioners, as did human dissection for religious purposes. White's book cites two church pronouncements which he claimed were prohibitions of human dissection and autopsy. One is a statement by the 1238-1248 Council of Le Mans, and the other is a bull of Pope Boniface VIII. In reality, White's claims are completely false. The alleged prohibition of the Council of Le Mans sometimes attributed to the Council of Tours in 1163, is a fiction invented by the 18th century French surgeon and amateur historian Francois Quenet. The bull of Pope Boniface VIII was not directed against human dissection or autopsy and only prohibited the dismemberment of corpses for ease of transportation, a practice which had become popular as a result of the Crusades, though this bull was misinterpreted by some medical practitioners. White's claim that 16th century physician Andreas Vesalius, a pioneer in anatomy who corrected many of Galen's errors, was persecuted by the church for his work and died on a pilgrimage after being charged by the Inquisition for having dissected a man whose heart was still beating, is likewise nothing but a myth. Ironically, after repeating the false claim that there was the old idea prevailing in the church that the dissection of the human body is forbidden to Christians, this was used with great force against Vesalius, White even acknowledges in the same sentence that a conference of divines having asked to decide whether dissection of the human body is sacrilege gave a decision in the negative, thus destroying his own case. Yet even this conference is likely to have been another invention by White. <laughs>